What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to go back to the Mars InSight. You remember the lander that landed approximately three, three and a half months ago uh, on Mars, where they have the seismometer on there, or the seismograph, um, as well as a heat sensor spike that they're going to be putting into the ground. Now, I believe it's up to Sol 92, but the one we're looking at right here is Sol 85, and of course it's got the IDC, the Instrument Deployment Camera, which I believe is on the actual arm, the turret arm, or the arm. Uh, and you can see the hoist right here, a little crane type thing, which uh, basically takes off the seismometer and sets it on the ground, as well as the heat sensor, right? All right, you can see right here, NASA's InSight, Mars Lander acquired this image using its robotic arm mounted instrument deployment camera. This image was acquired on February 22nd, 2019. Sol 85 with a local mean solar time uh, for the image exposures were, it's basically it's military time, but it's 344 and 20 seconds uh, p.m. Each IDC image has a field of view of 45 by 45 degrees. And of course, image credit goes to NASA JPL and Caltech. Okay, what we're looking at here is in the background. Now, you probably won't be able to see it right there, but it's right up in the back. And it doesn't look much more than maybe a small outcropping. Although it is pretty big because you can see this thing is off in the distance just a little bit. And you can see that. So let's get into that because I think you guys are going to find this is pretty interesting. We're going to go into this a little bit. And you can't see it all that well, but I'm going to try to bring this in as much as possible because this is pretty wild. There is actually lines. I've always told you guys pay attention to lines, lines, lines. Now this is getting broken up because I'm really zoomed in pretty far, right? But as you notice the white... We're going to call them mounds. Maybe it just looks like an outcropping, right? Again, lines tell all, okay? You can see something that's shaped like this here. The whole thing right there comes over to here, down. And you can see the white piece ends right here, right? And you can see the ground, or supposedly the ground. But pay attention to the line. It actually goes like this, comes down, and like that there. Now, All right, so now let's have a look at this thing in Photoshop. Because we can zoom in a whole lot more. I did make the photo bigger. Now, can you guys see what I'm talking about here? This is cool. Pause it any way you want. In fact, I'm going to back it up just a little bit so you guys can actually see this will be a little clearer. I want you guys to take note of this area right here. Before we even look at the other ones. Well, we don't need to look at this one here as well as this one here, right? You can see the top of this going like this. Falls back down, comes down. Now look at the line. Follow the line right along. Wait a minute. Why is it going beneath what looks like the ground? Right? I don't know if you guys can see that. But it goes like this. Comes out. There's another piece that's actually around it like this. Looks like some kind of weird hood type thing. I don't know if you guys can see that as well. But you guys will get the link to this photo and you can analyze this thing yourself. Um... But it's like, and then it's right here. And it actually has like a darker area here. This one is the same way. Again, we can do that here. And you can see that. But the puzzling thing to me is a lot of people will see this and go, okay, well, here's the ground. Because clearly you can see that right there. And this is nothing more than a bunch of rock outcroppings. Okay, but the problem is, again, I see this line coming from the shape of this white piece down below the ground. Does that make sense to anybody? No, it shouldn't. Check this out. Again, I can see this pretty darn clearly. In fact, I didn't draw it, I didn't draw this in the last time right here. And you'll see this in a minute where I where I outlined it. It actually comes down like this. Down like this. I actually drew that other line because it goes over to the other side of this other one. So that was my mistake, but that's okay. And again, this is kind of like this here. What the hell could that possibly be? And why is it in the photo? Okay, let me show you this now. We're going to go ahead and back up just a little bit so you guys can see this. We're going to clear it up a bit here. Okay, now let me show you the outline of this real quick. And this is what I've got. And I'm going to just jockey back and forth so you guys can see what exactly what I'm talking about here. Notice the line. Now I'm going to do the brighter one so it would be easier. I'm going to go back and forth. Just look at the actual lines where I'm pointing out and then look at it when I take them off. You see that? The lines are actually there. 
This is not just some white little outcropping of rock laying on the ground. There's something else here. So now let's back up a little bit. Now you may be able to see it a little bit better. It goes like this here. There's something weird about this thing, guys. Drops down like this, goes straight across. Goes up like that. This goes like this. Goes like that. Comes down like this here. Whatever the hell this thing is, and then of course you can't see the rest of it here, there's another object right here on the side of it which does the same. And you can see that the line does this. Whatever the hell these things are, are in the photo. Now, look at it from a distance. Do the outline here. And if you, can, you can see I took a lot of that crap color here. We got more of a natural color. You can see that. Um, whatever the hell these things are, they're off in the distance. And they're pretty darn big considering. They're definitely bigger than this lander. Okay? Now, what I did was try to get the actual, what the whole object would look, look like. So, in other words, we've got this ground right here. A supposed ground. And it's been colored this brown. Almost looks like a greenish color if you really look at it. It looks like some greens and browns in there, right? Um, okay, so then... I try to make this all white, just like it is at the top. Let's have a look. And this is pretty much what we've got. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. And there we are. Whatever these things are, like I said, you can see that. And, of course, this is pretty decent detail, but it's not right to, right to the T as far as I'm concerned. But you can see that. Whatever those things are, they're definitely intelligently made. Now you might say, well, Chris, I don't I'm I'm really not seeing this, but you have to look at it with either your magnifier or, and I'm gonna go back like this. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back and forth from the where I took the pukey color off. And you can see that back and forth. And I'm gonna go each stage for you guys. So pause it where you want. Use your magnifiers. Alright, this is the original one right here. Get the real colors in here, or at least pretty darn co close to it. And you can see it right there. You can actually see the lines of this. This object does not stop here. It does this. Of course, it's not going to be entirely straight, but you get the idea. Um, this object goes beneath this. And you can see it, like, right here. So, again, they try to block it to make it look like it's part of the ground, when clearly it is not. And you can see that right there, right? Okay. Again, back up and check these things out. They're being hidden. And again, all you have to do is look at the lines. You know why? People get fooled by the colors. They go, well, there's colors there. So clearly that's not, it can't be that big or whatever that object is clearly not there. It is if you look at the original. There's the original. And just by changing colors, I'm not going to do anything else to the photo. Just changing the colors. I haven't done anything else to it in Photoshop. You can see the lines to it right there. It's definitely in the photo. You can see that. And guys, this isn't the first photo, and I'm going to be doing more of these soon, real soon. In fact, I might do another one back-to-back. -back. I'm not sure yet because i got some moon photos as well as some more Mars. Um, there's some lines in there that are even closer to the, to the actual lander, and it simply doesn't make sense. Check this out. I don't know if you guys can even see this. Look over to the right. There appears to be some kind of weird platform sticking right out right here. Goes across and then back in. Can you guys see that? Kind of lo looks like it does this here. Let me go ahead and take that back off. You see that? And there's some other objects right next to it. Oh, I shouldn't say right next to it, but they are next to it, but further back. And you can see some kind of little details in this thing. See that? These little docky areas. You can almost bet that they're not natural. Let's suppose for a moment that these things are not intelligently made. Well, I'll tell you what, Mother Nature is awesome on Mars then because the way, they did, the way it's windblown, weather beaten, whatever it may be, that's pretty smart, intelligent weather, man. I'll tell you that. Definitely intelligent weather. And again, I only colored this in because I believe this part right here, all of this down the bottom, right here, all the way up to here, is also white. 
Again, the reason why I say that is because of the outline of this said object goes down like this, but they want to make it look like this half here doesn't exist and only the top does. So what do you think? What does it look like to you when you back up? It looks like some outcropping way in the back, right? And that's what I would think too, until you scrutinize these photos. Many people have said to me, hey, Chris, why would they, why would NASA go out of their way to, you know, hide these things in the photo? And if you guys haven't seen the Brookings uh, report, just Wikipedia, just, just have a look at it. And it's basically saying how uh, people would react to the fact that maybe other uh, civilizations out there besides our own. Have a look at that. Look at the Brookings report. Just look it up. Guess who? I'll give you three guesses. Who's the one that came up with that? That's right. NASA. Like I said, uh, I answered some other subscriber and they asked me pretty much the same question. I said, because they think we're a bunch of yard apes that we don't have a clue uh, or we'd be afraid of the fact there'd be another civilization other than us. Uh, I can almost promise you anybody watching this right now is not a, a, a least bit phased. If they announced it tomorrow, would you guys freak out about it? Drop your answers down below. Let me know because, you know, like I said, I don't know of anybody. They might question it like, wow, who are they? You know, how'd they get there? You know, different questions. But I don't think they're going to freak out about it. Unless, of course, they go back to movies like Independence Day, how they always portray them as evil and they're going to take over the planet and kill everybody on it. Um, that's the only reason why I can see because it's Hollywood scaring the hell out of everybody. So maybe this is the reason why. It's just the uh, it's their motive for doing these kinds of uh, things where they just don't want, you know, they're just hiding this stuff that's in the photo. See how they did that? And it's pretty cool how they do that and kind of goofy at the same time where they take the uh, surrounding area and just make a line and just, you know, basically cut and paste the background or the surrounding area right into the bottom, right where they want it to hide half the object. So you're none the wiser. You think it's nothing more than a, an outcropping way off in the distance. Well, it's not. But this is something freaky you would probably would see on Mars if there was a civilization on there. Guys, give me your take on it. What do you think is going on here? And do any of you guys believe uh, that there was a civilization? I know most of you guys are on board with that idea because as far as I'm concerned, why wouldn't there be? Some people just don't, they, they refuse to believe that. You know, why would there be any other life other than us? Okay, the fact that we're here proves that there's life other places. We're not that special, guys. Come on now. And they keep saying like, you know, SETI, NASA, oh, we're looking for any, any life forms that may be way out there. Why do they keep looking out there as opposed to in our own solar system? And you know what? You can almost bet they know exactly where there was any life in the solar system. They've been there. Even if they haven't been there, clearly they only been to the moon. But they don't need to have people there. All they have to do is drop a lander down on the surface of any planet or moon and just have a look around. As long as it's not too harsh of uh, weather and, you know, the, the environment, they can land anything on there. It doesn't matter how cold or hot it is and just have a look around. That's all they need to do. They just need eyes and ears. And that's why I said way back in the day, you can almost bet they had a, uh, a set of ears on the Viking lander. And they ha also had the, the cameras and send the images back to Earth. OK, well, you know, it's a whole lot harder to send video or, or a photo than it is an audio bite, even if it's a short bite, like five seconds. Doesn't take much to do that, guys. And you can almost bet that they did that. And they he probably heard some things uh, that uh, would definitely give away that there was a civilization there. Or at least animals and birds, maybe something flying around or something rustling around. Either way, they had the eyes and ears. You can almost bet on it. Anyway, guys, give me your ideas. Let me know what you think is going on here. Uh, drop your comments down below. As always, you know, guys, I, I like to hear your comments and your views about what we're seeing in these photos. And again, you'll see the next one's coming up. Pretty wild stuff as well. Anyway, guys, like the video. Always like the video because it just shows you guys are on board and uh, that you agree with it, right? And uh, share it, of course, uh, so everybody gets to see this. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for the next one. I think you guys will like these coming up. And with that, I'll let you go. You guys have yourself a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.